What's cracking, everybody? Welcome to Reos, I think. I'm not exactly 100% sure how you say this. I saw this a while ago. It was on sale on Games of Gold, I think. And I was super ecstatic because I've wanted to play these games for a while, but they're like 20 bucks for these style of games. I, I don't have a lot of money, so I can't really do a lot. But I want to... First, in the beginning, there's only an empty planet. Yes? We're just going to start a new game. Bam. Alright, introduction. You have been awakened from your slumber. You find your surface dry and barren. It is lifeless. Zoom in and out with the right stick. Rotate the planet with the right stick. Create the giants. Using what little strength you have, you create ocean giant and the rock giant. The instruments of your will. I would believe that that is ocean because he's blue. And probably that rock because, well, he looks like a giant rock. So, <laughs> use your giants. Your goal is to have life roam your surface et eternally. And to start, you will turn this dry wasteland into a paradise. Select giant. Select giant using up and down. Okay. Move your giant. Press A on the move command to select the order to... What? That didn't give me a chance. So I'm on... Who am I selected? Looks like I have the water one. Okay, press A to move your, give it your bit of a patch of land, move the rock giant, ocean giant towards each other. Oh, they have to move them towards each other? See, it closes so quickly, I didn't even see what it said. So we can just walk them next to each other. What's happening, buddy? Okay, pause the game, yeah. Inquire about the land, you press Y to statistics, okay. Dry wasteland cannot sustain any life. Must be terraformed. All right. Use the ocean. <laughs> what? Okay. There we go. That's why. Create an ocean. Whoa! Oh, he just straight just dug into the planet. All right, use the create ocean. Yes, did that. Well done. Oceans are the first step in creating life. You sense something trembling beneath the surface. What? There's a new giant. Select the forest giant. You can also press. Okay. Sweet. Use the forest giant so we can raise some. Um... Right there. So we just go, wow. Magical powers! Wah. Okay, that's cool. Requires water from the ocean. So, since we're built right here, we're good, right? Yeah. Good, forests require water from the oceans. You sense the life flowing back into your core. The rock giant has gained a new ability. So now I can do something with the rock giant. Okay. Wait, what does it do? Right button. Raise mountains. High enough to st stop rain traveling from the ocean and to turn surrounding dry wasteland into desert. So if I put it right here, would that be okay then? Boom. All right. So raise a mountain right there. As far as this guy, I actually want to put another forest on the other side. There we go. Go, dude, go. And then, so does that mean if I take the ocean and I put an ocean over here? Whoa. Okay. Use all your abilities to cover at least half of your patches. And okay. Create more habitable land. Half the patches in the oceans, desert, mountains, and forests. Alrighty then. We're gonna... Whoa. What's happening? Oh, we did. Because I built the forest over there. Well done. You've accomplished your goal. You've learned to create oceans and forests and mountains and deserts. Your hope of life blooming from the land will remain while you slumber. Press A to continue your view of your achieved developments during the game. What? I'm confused what's happening! 
Second error. Welcome to second error. Press A to continue on your next map. Once again, you have woken on slumber. You find your dry surface dry and barren. You recall a time when you used to your giants to create oceans and forests. You gather all your strength against the ocean giant and the forest giant can re Okay, so now we just have ocean and forest this time? Ocean and forest. Since a faint spark of life somewhere deep down below is asking the surface to live on. Use the forest giant and ocean giant to raise a forest. Oh, I didn't read what it said. I don't care. I already know what I'm supposed to do. So, we'll do it. Did you hear? Uh, go crazy! Okay, <laughs> and then we're going to place a forest right next to it. Boom. And what if I make a larger ocean? Can I do that? Like, can I make you... Right here. Somewhere in a cave, something small has awakened. You sense a small spark of life flowing through your core. It seems the forest giant has gained a new ability. What? I've gained the ability to make fruit trees. That's cool. Is he... Use the forest giant's fruit ability to place some plants in the forest. I did that. As soon as the humans settle, all their thoughts and feelings flow back into you. It would be wise to learn as much from these humans as you can. Alright. Move the selected patch of on a village and push the left stick to see the village's borders light up beneath each end of the village border. Okay. Placing plants, animals, or minerals with the village borders will generate resources. Villagers want their food, wealth, and technology provided by you. You can press left bumper at cycle through additional info about the patches are currently producing. Okay. The blueberry is providing five foods, so the maximum food the village can use is five. Villagers' resources can be viewed to select in the village. Oh my god, there's so much to this. This is surprising. I did not expect. Yeah, I'm just starting the game. You can see how much food is being used, the number before the slash, and see how much food there is available with the borders, the number of these slashes. Place some more fruit. Okay, so we gotta place more fruit at the borders. Nope. Red stick? I don't understand what you're trying to tell me to do with that, but we're gonna place more fruit here. Padoom. Is it. I mean, what is it? Did it do anything different? Alright, well. Whoa, you can zoom way out. So I built a second ocean, so now I can build another forest, right? Ah. Over here. Boom. This is crazy looking. So does this mean that this is a fertile patch too? I actually have no idea. Oh. That actually shows me the borders right there. Okay, I get it. Now it makes sense. Kind of. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure still. <laughs> okay, so he's placing a forest here, so I can place another forest there because it's fertile. That's what that means. Bam. Alright. One more forest right here. I could place another forest over here as well. The ocean dude only has one. So there's a lot of different skills they can get too. I have no idea what it is. So what's the mission? So wait, I didn't do what I was supposed to? That's what you're telling me? The village has two types of resources. Food, wealth, technology, and borders. The amount of food, technology, present in the village borders. Okay, put them to use. Speed of which it happens. All right. Oh, okay, so the arrow tells me how fast it's going. Nope, stop giving me the hint. Go back. Go away. You, come back over here and place more fruit trees, I guess, right here? This is the borders. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Water dude's just chilling, having a good old time, taking a bath. 
So now no life comes from over here. So if I put people over here, and I put people over there, are they going to send, like, people back and forth to start fighting? Because I remember seeing in the trailer something about them, like, fighting each other. And then at the same time, can you keep digging? Can I do that? Like, will you make the ocean super deep? Okay. You can see the village panel. The two blueberries are now generating tin food, and eventually tin food will bring... Okay. You can always speed up things by adding extra resources. The bigger the difference between the food in use and the food in borders, the faster the food in use will grow. Okay. See if you can raise food above tin by using the... It shows me for like a split second, and then it just goes away. Place some more food right here. Oh, this... Whoa. There's things here now. So I did, right? That's correct, right? I'm not 100% sure. But hey, add some more forest land. Because I see fertile lands here. And if I had the other dude, I could make this a desert. But they're only giving me two. Aspects mix one. Well done, the village is growing and people are gaining knowledge. Okay, so because I started doing the what? Villagers started building a granary, now they need your help. Building a granary project has allowed the villagers to gain a specialization. Select project path using left stick and press Y to view its specialization in the upper right corner. The specialization requires minerals to provide the boost. Your giants lack the skill to create these minerals. Completing the project could help remedy this. Okay. Requires large amount of food. No easy task. Luckily, seems the ocean giant can now. Okay. Stop doing that. <laughs> can now grow and stronger and gain the new ability. Can domesticate animal ability in the forest. That's a weird ability for the ocean giant to have. But I mean, let's 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 do it. I guess. No, wait, I have the wrong one, that's why. No. I don't understand that. That seems really weird to me. Domesticate animals from the ocean giant. Nobody mind the gigantic crab walking by. I mean, it's not walking through your village, so at least there's that, right? Be happy about that. Because <laughs> that would not be doing good things. The so granary. That person is hovering. Learn about the project. This is no easy task. Luckily, it seems the ocean giant has run strong. Yeah, we just did that. All animals have an area of effect. Select the animal using left stick to view. Select the patch chickens using the left stick and press Y. Okay. Place chickens near blueberries will create symb a symbiosis. Okay, so we want animals and plants next to each other. I already filled all the blueberry patches, unfortunately. What if I put it on the green? Oh, I can't because they built something there. Okay, let's put another chicken patch right here. Yeah. Then I want to bring the dude over and put a berry right here. That should make it so it gives, like, extra amounts of food, correct? So push left stick on you. No. There we go. How does... How do I... It says I'm supposed to upgrade, though. I don't understand that. Transmutes with lesser hunt aspect for better. Total... Okay. Okay, so that's how I get full details of everything. It's just by looking at it and pressing Y. Alright, so we got that. Oh, look at the trees going nuts. We should be good, right? Replacing a few blueberries with chickens. Oh, so I can just literally replace the blueberries with chickens. 
Okay. So put chickens right here. And I just did that there, but apparently that doesn't count. Not close enough to their borders. We good then? We good now, man? Prosperity 16. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Alright, so place blueberries somewhere else? Put some chickens next to you guys. Here you go, have some chickens. Boom! See if you can use the symbiosis of the chicken to easily complete the project. Replacing a few blueberries with chickens can provide you with more food. I've done said thing. There we go. Complete the project. Alright, so we did it. Boom. Achievement. Granary. Have humans complete a granary project. Excellent. Because of your positive influence, the villagers have done. Have done. Have decreed their ambassador to join you. The ambassador wishes to climb upon your shoulders to your giants and increase their strength. What? Hey, Mr. Rock Giant's up. What's happening, buddy? Rock Giant is reawoken, but is in need of a new ability. Select your Rock Giant using the up and down patch in the ambassador. Okay. And walk him to the ambassador? So we're going to pick up, dude? Yep. Come on, buddy. Let's go have some fun. He looks super sad. Oh, he's standing on his head. Well done. The ambassador's spirit has unlocked new abilities within the rock giant. Select the patch with the granary and view with specializations. Our improved form, all symbiosis, extra food from minerals placed by the rock giant. Place some minerals within the village borders to boost the... Oh, man. We're running out of village borders, though, dude. You guys built stuff. So I assume this is minerals, right? What is this? Raise mountain. Yeah, we do not want to raise mountain in the middle of their village. That would... I don't think they would be too happy about that. Alright, place some minerals within the village's borders to boost the resources. Yep, we did that. Excellent. Project specialization is given extra food for y the agates you created? Okay. They'll just grown and developed greatly since you awakened... But since there is still the roaming, still life roaming your surface, hoping to find a place to settle. Raise a desert of ten patches using the rock giants. Okay. Let's go make a desert over here. Yes? <clears throat> I don't remember exactly. I guess I'm going to put it right here. Raise a mountain there. Water giant dude. Come over here. Can I... You can't... I can't do it anymore. I can't make any more... Oh, I can. It's right there. No, let's move. It's just telling me to move. Stop moving. Just, just chill there. Okay, so he's gonna build a mountain. Burn the desert proceeds to go all across the Yes, it worked perfectly exactly where I wanted it to go too. Okay, be sure to do okay, we did that. Use the forest giants domesticate animals ability. Use the ocean giants domestic ability. Uh largest in the largest desert, make sure that there is enough desert for the village to settle on. Village is not settling, there is enough space or there is no resources nearby. Okay, so place or just part of the desert? I guess that'd be this, right? Domesticate animals. Right here. Boop. Just 
popped a mineral down real quick for you. So what happens if I try to place fruit here? Let's find out. Do to do, wait for everybody to walk over. What's that about? Looks crazy. All the giants are just like, rah, we're coming over here now. Everybody in the town's all nice and happy. There's some crazy looking minerals. Spin it over to the desert. What did you place? Not 100% sure what they put down. There we go. Got a village. Excellent. New village is settled in the desert. You sense it will start a new project soon. Boom. All right. And I already started a new project. Okay. Specializa specialization is activated when a project starts being built. Make sure to check specialization with the new project starts. Kangaroo rats. Okay, kangaroo rat generate one food for each patch of the range. There's an extra five food for each animal. Seems the rock gyre requires wealth. Ability with the desert patch. Uh-huh. Already did it. <laughs> okay. Activate a, I already activated a mineral. What do you mean activate a mineral? No. What are you talking about? Shrine is being built by the precious village. Okay, so wealth. So we need to increase more food for sure. Uh, I need water. Domesticate. Right here. And then... Here. And back to you to do one more. I gotta wait. I guess well, while you're doing that, we're going to add another mineral right here because I don't know what else to do. Boom. That's what it sounds like they need is more wealth. So this increases the wealth. There we go. Yeah. Activated mineral. Raise the wealth in above five to activate the quartz. Well done. The quartz is now activated. Symbiosis, which gives them extra. Oh, okay. Sweet. So we need water, dude, to place more foodstuffs right here. So we have foodstuffs, or animals, plants, animals, plants. Bam. What's up with all these monkeys? Are they going to fight each other? Okay, so what is this looking at? What do we need to do? Food in use is 0 out of 10. So, I'm confused. Do I need to add more animals? I don't understand. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, in other words, I gotta have some sort of ridiculous, like, setup here or something. Alright. I switch them around. Okay, so it's literally around that time. You hope your humans will survive until the next era dawns. You can now go into land. Go try to lead the humans to a different development in an era game. Developments of new unlock new plants, animals, or minerals, and progress you through the game. There's also a third beginning to learn about grand transmutations and danger. If you're having any difficulties, you can always set the third beginning in the game select menu. Press A to continue. Oh, so we beat it. All right. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. All right. 
New game. Era. Hope you manage to achieve developments. Free play. But will not progress. Okay, so I want to go to this, is what I want to do. Time limit 30 minutes, 60 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to save that for next time, though. If you want to see more of this, let me know. And I will definitely do more because I like this game. I knew I would. I knew I would just from the trailers. Uh, I like doing these types of things. But let me know if you like it. If you do, I will do more. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.